It may have had humble beginnings, churning out battery electric passenger cars from the old Numi plant in Fremont, but now Tesla is going big with its $5 billion gigafactories. Tesla is never one to do things the old-fashioned way when they get to do it in an all-new way. The car company that's more Silicon Valley than Detroit has taken innovation from the drivetrain to the manufacturing process with its first of many gigafactories in Nevada that promises not only to revolutionize car manufacturing, but building factories. Tesla went from boutique sports car maker to car manufacturer when they took over the Numi plant in Fremont, California. Since then, Tesla has built on each of its successes to go from startup to the dominant maker of battery electric vehicles, constituting 80% of the growing EV market in the United States. Tesla wasn't just introducing a new car, they were introducing a new kind of car in their long-range battery electric vehicle. It was a road fraught with peril as companies big and small have been trying to crack the battery electric car almost as long as there have been cars, with some very public failures along the way. One of those failures was a company called Fisker that tried to create a fuel-efficient sports car in the Fisker Karma. Despite interest in the car, the company folded up operations after one year of production because of delays in the battery supply chain. Tesla is determined to avoid this problem, and they've gone about it in the most Tesla way possible, the $5 billion Gigafactory. The first one in Nevada has come online heading toward its goal of producing batteries for 500,000 cars a year in a massive complex sporting one of the biggest footprints in the world. In true Silicon Valley style, Tesla has acted as its own contractor, both learning and reinventing factory building in the process. And now that the Nevada Gigafactory is starting to come online, Tesla has plans to continue to scale up by placing a Gigafactory on every continent. Well, every continent with an automotive market. Sorry, Antarctica, the Penguins will have to have their Teslas imported still. Tesla had to back away a few years ago from Elon Musk's dream of robots building more robots by returning human workers to the line. But that doesn't mean they're backing away from automation altogether. One of the ways Tesla plans to create these massive manufacturing facilities in such a short amount of time, with goals of going from approval to ribbon cutting in just over a year, is to have a factory build your factory. Prefabricated construction is not new. It's been a growing market in quickly and cheaply building new housing in areas where on-the-spot construction can be difficult. Prefabrication allows the individual components to be built in one place with all the efficiency and volume a factory brings and then assembled quickly on the spot. This also allows the Tesla factory to benefit from one of the things that made the assembly line such a revolution. While each Gigafactory can be customized to match terrain and other demands, they also start from a standard design, making it easier to churn out the parts they need. And they'll need those savings, because a manufacturing effort this big is still going to cost a pretty penny. The land alone in Nevada is valued at $16 million. Between Tesla's 7,000 employees and Panasonic's 3,000, the Gigafactory is a big employer for Nevada. And Nevada has bet big on that, chipping in at $1.4 billion as well as another $1.25 billion in tax incentives and abatements over the course of the next 20 years. The Nevada complex utilized $15 million worth of American steel in the construction. It contains space and energy savings like placing the building's HVAC system between the floors instead in the walls. While this is a huge investment, it comes with big returns. The volume of production and the process involved has dropped the battery price by 30%. This helps bring battery costs close to what's considered a golden threshold for battery electric vehicles. Currently, batteries cost about $147 per kilowatt hour. It's believed that if the cost can get below $100 per kilowatt hour, the price of an electric car would be roughly equivalent to their gas-powered cousins. Tesla is also racing competitors like GM to move towards lithium iron phosphate batteries over lithium ion. This eliminates expensive cobalt from the battery and is a key part of Tesla's million mile battery. These all become easier when Tesla takes control of making the batteries. There's another threshold that Elon Musk feels is important. He's aiming to produce one terawatt hour per year. This is a magic number that Musk figures will allow the world to transition to renewable energy. Intermittent power collection, like sun or wind, need batteries to store excess production to provide continuous power. Tesla already has something like that in Australia. 
The Hornsdale battery is a massive 129 megawatt hour battery that stores excess production and can power 30,000 homes. The $400 million project was commissioned by the Australian government to help reduce blackouts that were plaguing Southern Australia. In the true Gigafactory spirit, Tesla was able to complete the construction of the biggest battery in less than 100 days, though how much less depends on when you start the clock. Tesla also looks to recoup costs in the long run by relying on their other groundbreaking endeavor, Solar City and the Tesla Powerwall battery. Tesla acquired the home solar panel company Solar City as part of their renewable energy mission, pairing the panels with their Powerwall battery systems to store excess energy for use when the sun goes down. Powerwall batteries are part of the output of the Gigafactory and the facility is powered by a massive solar array on top of the building. They've approached that in a way so very Tesla. The entire building is aligned to True North. Not only does this allow the building to be mapped by GPS, but it also allows the panels to most effectively track the sun across the day. Hey, tech companies got a tech. The solar panels join forces with geothermal and wind to power the entire facility on site. Having the factory run entirely on renewable energy is an important goal for the EV car. Once made, an electric car is cleaner even if the electricity it uses is ultimately developed with fossil fuels in terms of efficiency and creation. But making an electric car is about 30% dirtier than making a gasoline car. After two years, the benefits balance out, and over the life of the electric car, it's cleaner. But using extensive renewable energy in the construction process can help close that gap faster. The Nevada site, which has now been dubbed Gigafactory 1, is only a beginning. Musk, ever the futurist, insists that 100 gigafactories would be required to shift the world to renewable energy. So the ability to replicate the factory and scale them like Tesla has with cars and batteries is all that more important. Giga Nevada has already been joined by Giga New York that makes solar panel cells and Giga Shanghai that makes Model 3Ss for the growing Asian market for electric cars, though that has slowed as government incentives in China have expired. Like Giga Nevada, the goal is 500,000 units a year, this time of Model 3 and Model Y Teslas. Ground only broke this June for Giga Berlin, but this process of building Gigafactories has been refined enough that it's expected to be churning out Tesla vehicles by next year. The central United States will host a Gigafactory, with Austin and Tulsa being the leading candidates. Another Asian plant is in the works as well, likely near their partners LG Chem, who makes batteries for Tesla in South Korea, and Japan, where Panasonic makes batteries. Elon Musk has mentioned that Brexit makes manufacturing in the UK too complicated, but there have been rumors of a big electric vehicle investor looking at Gigafactory sites. But then, Tesla is no longer alone in the battery electric world. These factories and Tesla's ability to quickly build more wherever the need is the greatest serves to retain Tesla's head start advantage. As the production and adoption of renewable energy and zero emission cars grows, Tesla is uniquely positioned to best take care of that demand by quickly scaling up its production. Even if a competitor came along with a battery or car that can do a few things better than Tesla, they can't match Tesla's scale. So rather than being a competitor, the other companies help Tesla with market adaptation of renewables. All of that makes the $5 billion investment a bargain. That's the brief look at the Tesla Gigafactory. What do you think of using factories to make factories? Is it worth the investment? Let us know in the comments, and while you're there, make sure to subscribe to The Richest for the latest videos in your inbox.